always there. It's always a possibility. Yeah, you're throwing the flash tippers out there. I want to see the summoner spellbook, the unsealed spellbook come out. Okay, Over ready. Huzzah! Ah. Flames, then. Oh, he flayed him back. So they may not want it completely. Uzi turning around for a few shots. Carson down to 200 HP. Now he gets the 300 off the smite of Red Buff. Sword oh, Art very low. In. Play back. The oh. attack comes in. It's going to be first blood for Uzi. Now Bebe is looking for one. Gets the auto attack over. It's a double kill for Uzi to start things off. But BB. Oh, oh. that's nice. Uzi turns it. Bebe and Uzi 400 to 200 over the oh. wall. And the oh, yeah. is cleared out. And that's going to be the heal from Fofo. Now it's CA coming in. Tries to throw the Q down. Wait, the signal's kill enough. Oh. Uzi gets a triple kill to start the game. You have to be kidding me. That's an insane. Ziv yeah. almost oh. ready to gnar out again. Remember, he didn't all the last seven one. He also done. didn't flash. That's right against the wall. Ziv could be huge here. Oh, it slams him right into the Bramble Pit. Mako's about to go down, but he gets himself to safety. MLXG's on the other side waiting to get back in. And that's going to be the hit for land more folks. I saw him just rushing down, and then I saw BB get half HP with Fofo. Exactly. Big damage. It's going to be 200 HP now. He was One more oh, he oh, missed the Emperor's right. Divide! I don't even know he if also that's the right direction from it. say that. Oh, Tibbers comes out. No quick stun on that one. Ziv under the turret. Cataclysm! Oh, nail the coffin ah. on that one. It will not be enough, even with a bit of triumph there for MLXG. He goes down. Ziv picks. Okay. Uh, bit of damage. He's waiting Ziv. for Ziv in the long run. He's going to get himself to the brush. Now he can kind of consider the 2v1 situation. If Ziv doesn't get the slowdown, he's oh, in a much no better mana. situation. Is no the mana way. there. And the Whoa. charge for the stun. How unfortunate, but good for the LMS. Now they look for one. Shie turns around that kill. This could actually be Ziv coming up. Uzi's here. One chain is not going to be enough. Yes, it is. Uzi's able to pick up that retribution kill for 9 5 oh, seven. With it, BB's probably back in base. Oh, yeah, man. BB's like, I am not going to be here. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uzi, this top target. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, the wall. Next flash for the bash. Here comes the other bash, brother. MLXG is able to finalize that one. And they can't close the distance through the cataclysm. But now, finally, taking the last few steps oh. forward. Bullet time as Uzi lets it ride. And that's going to be Sword Art Baby down. All those for Fofo wasn't enough. They're fighting again, by the way. Un Uzi, though. Oh, fortunate. Sword Art low. Oh, the back line. Nice hit. MLXG and Uzi popped up. They have to be careful of Baby. She over the wall. Oh. It's his own fight on the oh, back line. Down. Getting turret shot as well. A little messy here from the LPL, but they're still able to clean up their food as they play with it just a little bit. Towards the top, your AD carry split pushing bottom. Everything you would expect to be happening right now at 9,000 gold in the lead. And this is what you're expecting from actually can make contact with it. Oh, I've it before. Oh. Saves the HP. Yep. Block the poke. Now, too, for complete. He pretty much, he had a BF sword, and then he full bot the rest of that Infinity Edge. He's we got Fofo and Casa. Bit of a pinch. Emperor's Divide. Huge damage on his wow. EA. He goes down immediately. One mistake happening. 957 now about to go down. That's two mistakes. Mako and Uzi still want to try the fight as Tibbers going a little angry after 957 goes down. You ask the question, Griff. Step one happened. Step two. I think there might be a step three coming up as well. That's a forced cataclysm by MLX. Oh, he Carson. tries to get out. The kill to MLX. He does come through from Bebe. And the game might be turning around. Like a huge tippers into that huge MF ulti or, or a pick maybe. They're trying here on Ziv. Gunblade slow. Chain lock. Another one. No and more chains possibly coming out. That's the lockdown. Ziv is down. What is the movement LMS from the LPR? Early damage on the turret before the minions get there. And they're still able to successfully take that down. Inhibitor is now open in the mid lane. 30 minutes in. Fofo's trying to back from the top, but MLXG is keeping him at bay. And they are going to be able to finalize the damage. Actually, 957 walking away. Gets the last hit there. And that's going to give him a lot of mid lane pressure. You know, <laughs> mess up at the Baron at this point with this amount of gold and. All right. Lex weekend, I should say. Lex weekend, so. Let's go to Vegas, but I'll only play a hand when I have a really good probability of winning. But hold on. Oh, see the hand they play here against Sword Art, and that's going to be the Glacial Fisher thrown out reactively. They have two members now waiting behind the Baron Pit. Casa is on his way. And there we go. Ooh. That's a good way to stop him. There you go. And that's going to be Baron. Smite away by Mako. Game. Oh, I like it. Ziv a little too far out, waltzing back. He is a big boy in that Mega Nar, and it's going to be the hit of Anta Mako. He's going to stay healthy throughout this. Lock of the Iron Solari comes down to keep himself a little safe, but he does go down. Can they trade? MLXG coming back up from the, the kickback. They got Mako. Mako, nice job. Karsa 
with that late game Lee Sin pick. Wasn't able to do too much. I think I go back. <laughs> Karsa, they spot him. Mako's just gonna try to zone Karsa. What's the HP? What's it at? Oh, look at GA. Two shot barrage backwards to start off the fight coming Ooh, in from BB. BB. He's in very low. BB low as well on the outside. Kata kiss him in. Jarvik Quaxo, MLXG dunking him down, and he's still gonna be going on to Ziv. Almost hits the Dragon Strike on that one. And they're gonna get themselves out safely. Elder. Hiding in the brush on the side. He wants some more. He wants Ooh, BB. Right back to the base, right in LMS's face. Tibbers is gonna hang out on the top side. Oh, no, dead. they get the hook out of it. Kind of hiding it through Tibbers. Sword Art as well, very, very low. Glacial Fisher back as he goes down with the last sliver of health. And Fofo's got to take the long way around town. Woo. Uzi tries to let it ride, but he's still able to take down BB as he throws out the Q and gets the kill. They're going to be looking for the Nexus turrets, and they're going to be looking to even up this game if Fofo and Zip can't stop. And the crowd knows it. The LPL very close to winning the game here with those kills, those three that they just picked up. Gonna try something here with Zip, but Fofo into the fountain. Nice play on the Zip. Oh, turret lasers coming out to take down MLXG, but there's enough damage. On the other side, the LPL still stands Whoa. tall in <laughs> LMS's base, and Uzi goes in. The one for one on that one, he even gives a little bit over to the team. They're gonna be taking down the Nexus, and the LPL will even up this Dream Team All-Star. Best of five. Oh, guys, I didn't get the kill in the end, but... Such a crazy start to the game, so fast-paced, LPL just ran over the LMS, but then suddenly